today this morning is a day of chores after days of being out early in the morning to late at night um, we have lots of dirty clothes and we like to have clean towels and sheets before we head inland to Tuscany so we've been to a laundromat we've done two big loads and now we go to the supermarket so then we are prepared for the next few days week of travel So this afternoon, after doing chores all morning, we have arrived in Coluido, I think it's called. And there's like a really cool little town that's built in like this weird pattern formation up on the hills. I think there's also a really nice garden here. So we're in Tuscany now. It's pretty warm, I think it's 35. Coloidi Castello. So you can see, hopefully I can show you later, but the houses like Form a, like a triangle and point at the top and that's how they're all built. <laughs> Crazy. Mm -hmm. Neighbour's cat. crazy we're just wandering through this old village and people live here so they're just going about their day hanging their washing out the front it's crazy Driving along this road to our next stop, we're headed towards some lavender fields and we've just noticed sunflowers growing everywhere so I got lucky to pull over. Pretty cool. So today we are in uh, Grieve in Shanty. I think that's how you say it. So this is where the shanty wine comes from. And we are checking out the town and later this afternoon we're driving a bit further and gonna stay at a winery tonight. Winery where we're going to stay tonight and do a tour and taste. Oh, it's lucky. Yeah, it's really nice. So we've tried a rose and now we are going to the vineyard. Million yeah, yeah, I bet. Yeah. That's something that we're working on, and it's a long term project. Century. And these are the remnants of the towers. You see, the towers were cut down because when you conquered a fortress, you cut the towers down like you. Uh. And this is where wine aging happens now. Got some local olives. We've got the Canti Classico wine, which is the special wine from this region. And we've got some local bread with their homemade olive oil. Delicious. And this beautiful view all to ourselves. Now moving on to some local produce, some local meats and cheese. And we are failing wine class. 
when are, yeah. I'm failing wine class, she's asking us what flavors we can taste and like what specific fruits and I can't tell. I can just say it tastes fruity and it is delicious wine. So not a wine connoisseur, but the wine is very good. So this is the winery we are at in Tuscany. We have, after the wine tasting, we have bought a bottle of this delicious, delicious Canty Classico to drink. And because we are, we get to stay here in our camper van and it is quiet, we get to use the terrace after hours. So we're going to sit here, drink our bottle of red. We've brought the picnic basket up because Tommy is parked just down there and we get to use this view. So if anyone is in Tuscany, we definitely recommend coming to Fattoria della Aiola, uh, the, the, vine, the winery here, and doing, uh, we did an hour and a half tour. You got to taste five wines, some local cheese, meats, bread, um, and it was really, really good and really informative. We learned a lot. So definitely, definitely recommend. If you're in a camper van, it's an added bonus. You can stay and enjoy the terrace. How good is this? I actually showed you guys yesterday um, when we we're on the wine tour and tasting it's actually 800 years old they have it dated back to so there is a lot of history in this estate um, they actually do own the castle um, and all the vineyards around it and everything that they make is done fully themselves here so very cool place to be especially by yourselves alone so the lady at the winery was actually telling us last night that these dusty Tuscan roads are actually protected so that's why that they're still in their like natural form because you can't actually tar them it's just to protect nature basically it's pretty cool we have just arrived in a camper van park uh, about two kilometers away from San Gimio, I think that's how the lady said it, the Italian lady said it. Um, so we are going to ride the bikes into town to visit it. It's supposed to be really, really nice. So you can see the town of San Gimio in the distance. This afternoon we have driven to Siena so we're going to spend a few hours checking it out and when we arrived here the car was telling us it was 40 degrees so it's pretty warm here but there is a little bit of a breeze every now and then so it's not too bad but it's very hot Oh, 
So last night the lady at the winery gave us a list of some foods we have to try in Siena. So we just went to the bakery and bought them. So this is one of the biscuits we bought and what are they called? Ricciele, Ricciele, I'm not sure. Something but they are specific like to this Siena region. This is the second one and it's called? Enforte, Enforte, <coughs> something like that. up at this famous photo spot. Uh, Loki wants to be here for sunset so we're going to have dinner here, wait for sunset and then we'll move back into town at the Camper Van Park um, after he's taken the photos but it's beautiful. <laughs> Lovely dinner views tonight, Lachlan. Mm -hmm. Very nice. that you would never wear if you came and had a picnic on a hip or something. It's just ridiculous, but it's really funny to watch. The sun has just popped. This morning after sunrise we went back to bed, had a little sleep, now I've had breakfast and we have driven to Pinza, I think it is called, so we're going to check out the old town. <laughs> just in Satarina, I think he said it, and we are heading to the hot springs for sunrise. So apparently it gets very busy, it was very busy when we arrived last night um, in the car parks for it, so apparently at sunrise and early in the morning is the best time to go, there's not many people, so hopefully it's not too busy. We have just arrived, but you probably can't yeah, see too much. It's so warm. <laughs> Look at 37 yeah, degrees. It's really warm.
so you can just see the hot springs down there where we were this morning and it is starting to get busy down there so I'm very glad we got up early to go so if you do plan to come to the Saturina hot springs I can't remember the full name what it's actually called like something cascade castel something definitely recommend coming early so today we have driven to the coast of Tuscany out of, after we left the hot springs this morning. around the area of Porto Santo Porto Santo Stefano I think it's called and it is beautiful and a lot less touristy than other places so it's nice it's a bit quiet beautiful and it's not crowded at all it's so nice just to ride your bike along and not have to dodge people or dodge too many cars and it's just much more relaxing and it's so beautiful the water is amazing working up back at the campsite just outside of Porto Centro Sepiano and we are going to ride our bikes today to the other side of the island. It's called Porto Urkel, I think, and there's some really beautiful beaches over there. So checkout isn't until two o'clock here, so it's really good. So we basically have a decent chunk of the day to explore today before we leave. Yes, Yay! We so this is Orbatello and it connects uh, Porto Cento. Stefano um, and Port Erical to the mainland um, but it is I don't think you, I think you can only come through through the other islands but I think it's all national park but it's really beautiful Having lunch at Fengala Beach. Mm -hmm. So after our morning and lunch, I guess we left at about two or just after two from the campsite on the Tuscan coast. So we're now headed back inland in Tuscany and we're heading for the other side of Italy. But we have one last stop in Tuscany and we have arrived in a town called Pigletilano. Something like that. Um, it's a big castle kind of town um, that is like high above everything else and yeah it looks really nice. Um, we're going to spend the night here and we are going to go out for dinner and a view for our last night in Tuscany. So we're just heading into town now to check it out and it is quite warm being back inland compared to the coast. So we are looking forward to getting back to the other side of the coast. It's always a bit more of a cooler breeze. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
something in every direction you look here. So tonight for a main, what are we trying out, Lachlan? Uh, some sort of pasta with ragu. No. Tuscan... Tuscan... You can't even remember. <laughs> oh, Tuscan pasta with wild boar ragu. Yeah. Because wild boar is very... There's a lot of wild boar around here. Mm -hmm. Ah, see, yum. Good? Delicious. Delicious with an amazing view. Where's your dinner and a view? Bellissimo? Bellissimo. We're just walking through the streets again tonight after we've had dinner and there's just locals on there sitting with their neighbour, having a chat, having a wine or listening to music or back down there there was a whole group of them, they brought their own chairs and they had the table set up on the street and they're just having a meal together and everyone's bringing their dish and they're all just so happy and it's just, it's a beautiful atmosphere here, it's really nice. <laughs> 